Can you bring back the spectral uh, decomposition? The the um... are we discussing this? Uh, yeah. So how do you go from the line that says uh, m matrix equals m matrix times one to the line that says uh, m matrix is equal to the sum of lambda i times the project i? Projection operators have two very important properties, which you will always see in, you know, lots of applications. One is that once you have used this projection operator, it's no point of doing it again because you're already in a subspace. So if you apply it twice, so I equals I and you square it, you just get the projection again. So, so that's called orthogonality. The different spaces are zero. You understand the orthogonality, correct? Mm -hmm. Good. The other thing that's maybe not as obvious, and you have to, you can check it explicitly by doing some algebra, is that the first projection opera puts you on this space. The second puts you on that space. And the last one puts you on that space. So if I take a sum of these matrices, uh, each one of them makes a little projection, but the result you add it up and you get the original answer. So the sum doesn't do anything. It acts as an identity. That's called completeness. I can multiply a matrix by identity and uh, I can do it from left and right, but because this matrix projection operator is a polynomial in the matrix, you know, matrix commutes with itself, so it doesn't matter whether I apply it from left or right. And then I get oh, okay. M acting on P0, uh, you know, acting on it on P1, P2, et cetera. But then I use yeah. this equation that on a subspace, I get a number back. Mm -hmm. So now comes the amazing thing. If I take any function of a matrix, if I'm allowed to write it out as a polynomial, for example, exponential, I wrote as a Taylor series in powers of M, then, you know, M acting on each subspace returns lambda. M square returns lambda one square. So, if I had a Taylor series in matrix form, then on subspace, it's just a function of the single variable. So that's a spectral decomposition. And, you know, that's amazingly powerful thing in calculations. So you have to compute, you know, typically you have to compute some functions. So in engineering, for example, you have to compute cost function. You know, how wrong is my answer? Uh, or in uh, quantum mechanics, uh, you have to compute the energy of a system. So that's a, some nonlinear complicated function. But it turns out that on eigenspace, it's just a number. It's just a polynomial in, you know, energy or whatever. So that's, you know, that's why we teach the spectral decomposition. So that's why we care about completeness. It, we care about splitting space in small subspaces in this case, eigen directions, not losing any piece of it. Thank you, Professor.